Welcome to the first of our five Christmas specials. Now let's get festive. One of the things I love about Christmas is window shopping. Without the intention to buy anything, no, I just like browsing the department store windows. We have come to Selfridges on London's Oxford Street to see their offering this year, Christmas of Dreams. Wow, this takes me back. One of the things I remember from my school days is in the weeks leading up to Christmas, we made streamers and we had pieces of coloured paper, um, glue. Oh, I can smell it right now. That old school glue. There was something really, really addictive about it. And um, we would make streamers and then take them home and put them up. At, um, at, our own, at our own homes. I always used to have them like dangling right across the ceiling. Now I know I could have just bought coloured paper but I wanted something a bit special and I spent ages walking around shops trying to find something that looked a bit Christmassy and I managed to come across these lovely streamers here. Uh, different colours, decorations, we've got little Santa on here and the same on, on this one here. And the bonus with this is I don't need glue because they all come with their own little um, sticky back paper tags. So let's get started and we'll see how we can, how big we can, we can make it. Now, all you need to do, this is like one of the simplest things, so if I can do it, anybody can do it, is just take up the peeler and stick one end to the other so you've got like a little, a little ring. And you want to mix them up a bit. So, um, well, I suppose if you want it, you could put two the same together. But I want to have different types, and you cut, you form sort of little little ringlets like this, and then stick that on. Uh, what was that one? Okay, we'll move to this one now. Remember to take the sticky off. Probably take the sticky off first. You can imagine doing this with glue. Um, it would be quite fiddly. I guess you could, if you're using coloured paper, you could probably just use uh, sticky tape for that. Ooh, look, I've got two together here. Yes, I do. And the size of the streamer, it's really completely up to you as to how long you make it. But I guess you want it to sort of like dangle across a wall or across the ceiling. Um, so it's entirely up, up to you how, how long it is. And you could spend literally hours doing this. And I'm sure that's what you really want to see me doing, is spending hours sticking bits of paper together. And uh, there we go. But it is quite therapeutic, actually, um, once, you, once you get going. And uh, I can remember way back in the day when, when we made them, um, at school. I also made some at home as well because I enjoyed it so much and I just spent ages, um, hours just, just making huge ones and of course what can happen, you can have a disaster if it's not stuck together properly you can um, maybe 
you come down into the living room the next the next morning or something and find half your streamer is lying on the floor and then you have to like pick it up find the, the brick stick it all back together and put it up again so we have done after this one two of each color or of each decoration join that together like that and I think you get the idea oh yes look at that and I could even wear it as a chain and become the mayor of Christmas so Merry Christmas to all of you and if you are going to be at home this Christmas well there's nothing better than sitting in front of the TV and streaming oh well that's something else Here are my top tips and tricks for a fuss-free Christmas. A budget. You need to budget the amount that you need to spend on each person so that you won't overspend and, and you won't go into debt. Second thing, you need to do some planning. Go during some quiet times. Try to avoid the weekends if you can. And also, plan on what each person would like. Try to avoid gift cards because gift cards have a expiry date and they usually last between two to three years. So it's best, so it's best to check the terms and conditions for that. I think it's best to make things personal, so something like a personalized calendar or personalized objects, I think that they hold more sentimental value and that they're more intimate and that, and that the person receiving it will appreciate it more. Or you could just go to the pub. Thank you for watching the show. If you like what you see, then please subscribe. I mean, seriously, please subscribe. I am always a child at Christmas, aren't I? Yeah, I think that you are. I remember one year under the stairs at home, I think I was about seven, there was this big pile of presents and it was the biggest pile of presents I ever saw. I think that that means that Santa was always bringing presents for you. Did I tell you that I saw Santa on Christmas Eve one time? I was, I was in bed and I looked towards the, the curtains and I think maybe the curtain was slightly open. And I saw this figure on a sleigh go past in the distance. And I think I said to my sister, I think I've just seen Santa. And I don't know, but maybe that was the same year that when I woke up, I had all those presents. I think that was like peak Christmas for me. Uh, I remember us opening the presents on Christmas Eve sometimes. Other times we were opening it on Christmas Day. Christmas Eve? Why was that? Uh, so that we could get the excitement over with sooner rather than later. Was Christmas not so big in Chinese communities, in the U.S. at least? 
it's well it wasn't that big for us growing up it was it was a holiday and we had a small tree a artificial one but it was it wasn't so it it wasn't such a big deal did you find it um a bit weird when you first came over here at christmas to find out how big everything was like on the tv and everything as well like now it lasts for about a month i think that christmas over here is like christmas on steroids it's kind of like pump it pump it pump it pump it up so it's it's great and all but i think I think it does get us all in the Christmas mood. There's like all the music playing, the decorations come up, uh, like around Halloween time or sometimes even before that. Then I just think to myself, shouldn't we get, shouldn't we get one a festive holiday or one holiday over before we go into another one? But it's just no. You have to go from point A to point uh, F. Like, we don't really care about the middle steps. But um, it's the whole run up to Christmas that I find the more exciting bit rather than Christmas Day itself, which I never seem to be able to enjoy. Um, but thinking back to when I was a child, it was kind of the same in a way because I knew there were the three key things that happened well actually four um that you knew christmas was was coming actually five if you think about it there was a lot of key things um the first one was probably i suppose um and again i'm thinking that maybe all these things happened quite quickly but this is in looking back they seem to be spread out more but maybe the first one was when Christmas cards started to arrive in the post. And even to to this day, as you know, I always get excited when the postman arrives. And like, come on, who sent me one? <laughs> not just at Christmas, but I'm excited every day to get post. Um, but the Christmas cards arriving, I can remember that uh, at its peak, there would maybe be, be something like 40, 50 Christmas cards would arrive in one day. And I was allowed to open every one of them. So they were all mostly addressed to my parents or one or other of my parents. And and I could open all of them. And then I'd cut out all the stamps and save the stamps. So there was that. Another one was at school and um, that was making streamers, which we are doing on the show as well now and that was always exciting and then putting up the decorations at home and i would get that spray foam stuff and stencils and we had um a porch at our front door and it was a glass a full glass window and i would do all these like stencils of snowmen and scenes and stuff so there was that the other thing was when the milkman came um because we had a milkman back then. They, in the Christmas week or couple of weeks, um, they, the bottle tops had special decorations on them, like robins or holly or something like that. And I always said, oh, it's the Christmas tops. So there was that. But I guess the biggest one, which remains to this day, is the TV mag. And it has to be the Radio Times. Radio Times at Christmas, you've got to buy it. And you know what I'm like, as soon as I go searching for it, when I hear a rumor that it's on sale, days before it's supposed to be, I start going out to all the shops and try to find it. Obsessive. And of course, you like to interrupt me while I'm in the middle of my TV mode. I remember us making paper snowflakes to hang up from the house. I remember us having some stockings that we 
decorated. And I remember us writing Christmas cards to one another, which was nice. We didn't really have Christmas dinner. It was just like your everyday dinner. All I want is a ham sandwich on top of the pops. And one of the yeah. other things that I remember every Christmas was the Wizard of Oz was always on TV. On usually on Chris, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. I think it still is on over the Christmas period. And it's the only movie that I have watched multiple times. In fact, I think there's only a handful of movies that I've ever watched more than once. Um, but the Wizard of Oz, if it if it's on, I'll record it and and watch it and it never fails to sort of surprise and amuse. A movie that always aired on Christmas Day was It's a Wonderful Life. And I don't even remember ever watching it, ever. I don't ever remember what happened, how it started. All I remember is, is that it's in black and white and I remember the man holding the little girl at the end and then she saying, Every time a bell rings, every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. So I remember the little girl saying that. So I think I do need to watch It's a Wonderful Life this year, for sure. Well, I think it will be on. Um, yeah, I think so too. Other Christmas movies that I do like include Love Actually. I remember us watching it at the cinema. I, I really liked the Christmas music by Mariah Carey. I enjoyed Hugh Grant as the Prime Minister. And I remember Andrew Lincoln holding up the sign to Kira Knightley. I remember that stuff because it's kind of iconic. A lot of different Spoof movies have used that as a prop, as a homage to it. Another Christmas movie that also stands out in my mind is Home Alone 2. That was when the colleague Culkin's character, um, Kevin McAllister, gets lost in New York and is chased by the two thieves that was also in Home Alone, the original one. So it was interesting to see him going through Central Park, how he gets helped by these people that he thought were his enemies, but then they turned out to be his friends. No, so it's like a comedy, and it's like him beating the odds to get back to his family, really. So I do like some happy endings in those movies. It was great reminiscing about Christmas with you today, and I'm sure that Christmas will be fabulous no matter what we do. And who knows, maybe we will just have Christmas on Zoom, and then I can watch my Top of the Pops with my ham sandwich, and you can have, <laughs> have your dinner and we don't annoy each other. How about that? Oh, cheers! <laughs> <laughs>